When you see this, what does this mean? It's like abbreviated stuff. How would you read out this? Yeah, Christian. What is the probability of a particular event, whatever you like, dealing out the two of hearts, rolling a six, getting killed by Voldemort, that kind of thing, okay? Probability of an event. Now, it's a fraction, right? It's a fraction. Sorry, that's a bit wonky. We've written this a couple of times already. What is the top and bottom, what are the top and bottom of this fraction, Darcy? Favorable outcomes. Favorable. Um, yeah, I'm going to write events because events and outcomes, same idea. And someone else tell me the denominator, Beth? Um, possible events. Yeah, I'm going to add on the word total there. Total possible events or outcomes. Right? Um, and by the way, we had another name for that as well. What, what's that called? Starts with two S's? Square space. Sample space. Very good. Okay. So, this is the probability of an event, okay? Now, what I want to introduce to you is the language of complementary events, okay? Do you remember, you don't have to write this part, just watch this on the side. When you were playing our game yesterday, watch out for Voldemort, right? There was the probability of rolling a six. In theory, our theoretical probability was favorable out events. How many sixes are there on a die? One. There's just one. And how many possible numbers are there? Six. Six. Good, good, good. Now, that's the probability of getting killed. The probability of staying alive of not getting killed. Five. You can write that in two ways. The first way pulls on this complementary event idea, right? I can just say not six, right? I can say not six. Now, that's not the only way I can write it. I can write it as the probability of one, two, three, four, or five. But do you see why I prefer the first way? What, what's better about the first way? It's just quicker. It's just quicker. You guys know mathematicians, famously lazy, will always take the quickest part we can. Okay? Now look at this for a second. It's really easy. You don't have to do any calculation to know what the probability of not getting a 6 is. What is the probability? Five. You can, you can see um, there are five favorable events. I've written them there. One, two, three, four, and 5. It's 5, and it's still... It's still six in total. Do you agree with that? Okay. But I want you to look at these two numbers that I've written on the board. This probability and this probability. What do they add up to? What do they add up to, Christian? One. They add up to one, which means these are all the possible things. Okay. So underneath what you've written in here, right? The probability of a complementary event, right? This is like the opposite of your event happening, right? If you were thinking about sixes, the complementary event is not a six. If you're thinking about odd numbers, what's the complementary event to odd one numbers? Two. On a die, you're one either two, odd four, numbers six. or you're even numbers, one, two, right? Four, six. So odds is one event, evens is the complementary event, right? Can you see the probability is just one take away the probability of the actual event you're interested in. Do you see that? Right? I could arrive at this by saying it's one take away a six. Do you agree with that? Do you see how my numbers work? So maybe you want to label the fact with a better color that a complementary event is the opposite of the event. Okay? So odd and even, that works. Uh, six or not six, that works. Quick question, let's think about this. Um, you're playing a soccer game. Win or lose? Are they complementary events? Yes, no. They are not complementary events because there's another option. Tying, right? So it's win or not win. Those would be complementary. What about, um, what about sunny or rainy? Are those complementary? No. No, because well, you could have snow. like overcast. Snowy. Uh, or snowy, all kinds of things. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Yeah, you could have cloudy with a chance of meatballs or cloudy with a chance of meatballs too. Um, you can see, you can see there's other things possible. So you could say sunny, not sunny. They, they would be complimentary. Or raining, not raining. They would be complimentary. And you can use this. Rather than like count them all up, you can just subtract. 